Hello, my people. Welcome to my fourth episode of Preparing Your Monologue. Thank you, CuroCreate, for making it possible for us to do this. This is Straight to Camera Festival 2020. No gimmicks, no effects. Okay. Now, you've been doing your monologue over and over you're getting used to the beats. Uh, you're getting used to the images that you're trying to paint. You're getting used to um, the emotional, what you want to evoke in the audience. So you're getting used to your character. But now, on this episode, we will focus on a breath score. Because, especially with Isikosa, you know, with every language actually. There are times when a person is angry and they will express some kind of like and then it says your mother. But then you more and there's people but well you already get it. We are yas bowza kwenzandun. But benge kwa but you know. So this is what we're gonna work with. The intensity of e breath yako. How do you use your breath to make um to make uh, to, 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 to to emphasize or, or highlight or or pick up some images or or make it small or how do you use your voice, your resonance, your 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 voice resonator with your breath to actually deliver what the character is saying? So, for example, in my in my monologue, the the girl is in the middle of her praying. She starts telling a story of which is part part of her frustrations. So, story But how do I then tell the story within the prayer? Younger and doing a breath. Enzo has the qualities that you will find in, in the monologue. Because with emotion, uh, motion comes with shades. Yeah? The shades of emotions. So, how do I pitch her anger at this point? Is it, does it come, ah! does it come small? Does it come with a little bit of frustration? Uh, how does she breathe when she says this? Um, this is the episode that we'll be dealing with that. Okay. So, while you are focusing on learning the line still, on uh, the different emotional beats, while you are still, you are trying to color now because the different emotional beats will, they will, they will make you learn different things, you know. Uh, it's more like, you will keep on finding more beats because if if on the third on the third episode you marked your emotional beats the more you interrogate your your lines i did say um you find more emotional beats so you find within the beats it's like there's units <laughs> as well so you'll find those things those will help you color the monologue those will will help you have different textures in your monologue and now if Let's say at this phase, you've been cooking a stew, right? By this time, you're trying to say, okay, more cinnamon here. More of uh, peri peri here. I'll put a little bit of sugar because tomato, moon kind of thing. yeah, boy. So you're trying to, yeah, uzamuzi, what, what word can I use? You're trying to mix them together. You're trying to mix them together. We have more danguk, yeah, boy. And with this monologue that I chose, I like I, I like this phase uh, on rehearsing a monologue because I can feel that the monologue is, is co-created by different people, uh, artists from uh, different different backgrounds. So at this at this at this stage, I'm trying to merge the worlds. I'm trying to make the different references of images to, uh, together. I'm trying to make them coexist. Meaning, I'm making it more mine. I'm going to paint, I'm going to take these images and I'm going to make my own image to express the whole play or, yeah, the whole play. Okay. 
on the next episode we will talk about distilling the methods you have used the choices you have you have used now you get into the mannerism of the character you get into how they speak how they look at things if 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 the girl is praying to Mujaji, does she have like this kind of look about mama fika or is this kind of look is she is she how does she breathe you know this the distillation now of your character will be on episode five looking forward to it guys remember you keep on reading and reading and reading your monologue and writing it by this stage i'm here i'm here writing writing because you don't want to get to a place where you are stuck on words and you've got the emotional through line. You've got uh, the journey of the character. You understand everything. But then words, it's a real like kickback. It's not fun. Okay. Also at this stage, I like finding a piece of music. Uh, I'll show you the link of the music uh, that I found for, for this song, for, for this monologue, a song. But if you maybe try to find uh, a piece of music, something that will get you in the mood of your character before you do it, that you're feeling it, okay? I'm becoming this girl. I'm this girl. I'm this girl. I'm this girl. And then you get to doing your monologue. You get to do your monologue. Okay, guys. Um, I'll see you on the next one.